We are now one month away for voter registration for the deadline for the November election, the governor's race drawing the most attention. Fox 4 Stephen Dial asked election administrators what kind of trends they're now seeing. Stephen. Heather, the voting deadline, the deadline to register to vote is in a couple of weeks. And while most North Texas counties aren't seeing big spikes in registration numbers, we found out today in Collin County, they're seeing a noticeable decline in mail-in ballot requests. Across America, there are too many scenes like this. Beto O'Rourke's answer is to defund and dismantle the police. Of course, people are gonna disagree on the big issues. But Greg Abbott signed the most extreme abortion ban in the United States. The closely watched Texas governor's race will drive turnout in November as campaigns head into the final stretch. October 11th is the deadline to register to vote. One month away is hard to tell if hot button issues like abortion and border security are motivating factors. But in booming Collin County, the population growth itself is creating more potential voters. Our growth uh, is significant in this county. And, and so to give you an example, we have 100,000 more registered voters this election than we did four years ago in the last midterm election. Bruce Sherbet is the Collin County Elections Administrator. He says voters in Collin County vote early and they vote often. In 2020, the county had nearly 80% voter turnout. But Sherbet sees a changing trend with mail-in voting. Still several weeks before the October 27 deadline to request a mail-in ballot. We're down on requests for mail ballots. Uh, going into the midterm elections right now, we have about 12,000 requests uh, queued up ready to mail ballots once we start mailing out. If you look at it four years ago, we mailed out 22,000 mail ballots. Mail-in ballots were also popular in many counties during the pandemic. Then last spring, there was confusion over new ID requirements with thousands of mail-in ballots flagged as improperly being filled out. Still, Sherbet thinks there is not one singular reason for the decline. People are just deciding they want to vote in person. Uh, there could be concerns about, hey, is the mail going to get back and forth timely? That's a legitimate concern always. Uh, and, and it could be just people don't feel as comfortable with the mail ballot process. While vote by mail numbers are down, Sherbet says their new voter totals have not changed. It's pretty consistent and meaning that we're not seeing any any large spikes in registration. We're seeing some small upticks like you would expect. And we reached out to Dallas and Tarrant counties. They aren't seeing any big spikes heading into the voter registration deadline. Dallas County did tell us that so far this year, it has about 66,000 new registered voters. All right, thank you.